are you holed up in your room again? Mom is upset because she says all you do is stay in your room and you won't even eat dinner with her. What are you talking about? Mom doesn't even make enough food for me and gets mad when I use the kitchen. So I have no choice but to get takeout all the time. It would be weird if we ate together. Wait, did you come home? Yeah, I figured I should drop by sometimes and it's a long weekend. <laughs> what do you mean sometimes? You were just here two weeks ago. Why do you care how often I come by? Well, yeah, but... Now I'm just chilling in my room. You're messaging me from the next room? I don't want to get up and go to your room. But anyways, it's all your fault. What are you talking about? Just listen. I went to a good college and got into a good company. Yeah, and? I'm one of the best employees there, and my bosses love me. Okay, that's good. But you... Me? You only graduated from vocational school. So, what does it matter? I found what I wanted to do. I went to school so I could get good at it. That's not the problem. Huh? Now you don't even work. What? All you do is stay in your room all day and leech off of mom and dad. Just hurry up and get a job already. What I mean is, you need to get out of this house. Graduating from vocational school doesn't mean anything if you can't contribute to society. Wait, I told you before, right? I work from home. You're a freelancer or whatever, right? So you do know. But the world isn't that easy. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're not like me. I mean, I'm amazing at everything I do. But Hannah, you don't achieve anything you set out to do. You're not going to make it doing freelance. <laughs> well, I know that it's not something everyone can succeed at doing, but I'm getting enough work as I am right now. That's why I went to vocational school, so I can hone my skills. Wait. You decided to go to vocational school so you could become a deadbeat? You're so funny! <laughs> okay, so you say you're a genius, but you're not making any sense. What? I mean, you don't even know what kind of school I went to, do you? My brain doesn't need any additional unnecessary information. <laughs> you don't think we're in the same playing field, do you? <laughs> hmm, unnecessary, huh? I wonder what part of it is unnecessary. Whatever. You can only stay high and mighty for now. For now? You'll get it soon. <laughs> Few hours later. Hannah, I have to talk to you. What? You need to get out of this house by the end of the week. What? Um, are you saying that I need to move out? Yeah. Why so suddenly? Sean decided to move back in, so I need your room to be empty. Huh? What are you talking about? Even if Sean comes back, he has his own room. Why do you need my room? Do you know what teleworking is? Of course. Sean's company has started teleworking, so he's thinking of moving back here, but he wants to have his room and his workspace to be separate, so he needs a workroom. Okay, so you're saying I need to leave? Yes. I think this is a good opportunity for you too. Why? Do I have to spell it out for you? All you do is stay in your room all day on your computer. I told you I'm working. Sean told me. You only work part time, right? No, I work freelance. It's all the same. It's not like you're even making much money anyway. Actually, I am. Don't you remember? I've shown you how much I have saved. Don says you can create fake information online. So you're saying you're believing what Sean says rather than what you saw yourself? Well, of course, he's successful. He has actual work experience. I can trust him a lot more than you. What are you talking about? Anyways, you need to be out by the end of this week. Sean's telecommuting starts next week, so I have to get a workspace ready for him. Fine, but I'm gonna check one more time. You're really okay with me moving out? That's what I said. You're not allowed to come back until you have a proper job. Understand? Few days later. Hey, Hannah. Have you moved out yet? Yeah. The moving truck with all my stuff in it has already left. I'm on the train, heading to my new place now. Sounds good. So starting tomorrow, your room is now my room. Next time you come home, you can stay on the couch or something. <laughs> By the way, your stuff came today. Yeah, I had it scheduled to be delivered today. That's fine, but... You keep saying you'll be telecommuting, but there wasn't a computer. What? <laughs> Normally, if you ship computers, they'll be in special boxes labeled fragile or whatever. But the only box labeled fragile had a TV in it. 
Are you sending it separately or something? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> There's already a computer at the house. I don't have to bring a separate one. Was there? Oh, I'm almost there. Already? I was killing time at a cafe nearby. Bye. 15 minutes later. Hannah, what is this? Why is everything gone? What? There's nothing left in your room. What did you do with all this stuff? What do you mean, what did I do? I told you I packed it all up to move to my new place. What? Why did you take everything with you? It's my stuff. Of course I'm going to take it with me. You should only take the stuff you bought with your own money, especially the computer. I'm going to use it. What are you talking about? I bought everything in my room with my own money. The computer, too. Of course I'm going to take it with me. You're a liar. A freeloader like you doesn't have the money to buy a computer that expensive. I told you I'm not a freeloader. There's no way you can do freelance work. You're too stupid. No way you can buy a computer by yourself. I told you I'm making about as much money as someone my age working at an office. Liar! If you don't believe me, just ask Mia. Mia? Remember? Mia works at the company store. When I got my computer for work, they didn't have anything advanced enough in the store. So I asked Mia to order me this one. She saw me buy it with my own credit card. She'll tell you that it's mine through and through. I mean... I saved up the money for the computer at my part-time job that I was working at while I was going to school because I wanted to save for my future. So, it doesn't matter how much I make now. <laughs> Whatever. Just bring back the computer. I need to use it. No, I need it for my work. If you're really making that much money, just buy a new one. Bring it back. Just hold on. You want to use a computer for telework, right? I believe your company will pay for a computer so you can work from home if you need one. No, well... Whatever. Anyways, make sure to tell mom that you're fired, okay? What? What are you talking about? I know that your company actually started teleworking six months ago. And that you're an okay employee, so you were selected as a member of the first team to start teleworking. But when you actually started working from home, you found out that you don't do any actual work, right? And you couldn't pay rent anymore while you were looking for a new job. So, you moved back home. How do you know all of that? My friend works at that company. What? Who? Can we stop talking about this? I get nauseous texting on the train. I don't feel so good, so see ya. Hey, wait! Bye. Three months later. Hannah, I need you to answer the phone. What? Your father's brother just called me. He said that I owe him three months back rent and I need to pay him ASAP. What is he talking about? Sean says he has no idea what he's talking about. Hannah, do you know what's going on? What do you mean, what's going on? Mom, are you not paying the rent? Of course! Why do I have to pay rent for a house that I own? Huh? What do you mean? That house is a rental. What? That house used to be owned by Dad's great uncle, so they've been renting it to us really cheap. But when you and Dad got divorced four years ago, you said you would not leave the house, so... They said they would let you keep living there if you paid the normal rent price. What? Wait. So that means that until three months ago, the rent was being paid? There's no way your father would pay it, and Sean just started working last year. Where did that money come from? Of course it came from me. What? You only work three, four days a week part-time, and I'm the only one who can pay it. And I told you when I moved out that I would tell Great Uncle that I was moving out so to figure out how you would be paying the rent. Wait just a second. You were making that much? I told you I was so many times. I told you that I'm freelance graphic designer. What? I, I never heard that. I told you. You didn't believe me. Or is that you just don't listen to other people? That's the main reason you got divorced, right? And when dad tried to talk to you about what to do about the house, you wouldn't listen to him. Kept saying that you wouldn't divorce him unless you got to keep the house. All you did was whine like a little kid. And in the end, I had to figure things out with dad and great uncle. Was that what happened? I've wanted to move out for a long time. But if I did that, you wouldn't be able to pay the rent. And Sean was still in school, so... I had no choice but to live at home. I see. Okay, then I need you to pay back the rent I owe and give me the money for rent from here on out. What? Why do I need to pay the rent for a place I don't even live at? Um, but... You and Sean are the ones who told me to get out. That
nuts! I think it's reasonable that the two people living should pay for the rent, right? Um, uh, where are you living now? I'm not telling you. I don't want you coming here. Bye. Afterwards, when I was told to move out, I asked my dad, who lives in a different city, for advice. I cried when he told me I'd done a good job. Currently, I live alone in the same city as my dad. It seems that mom contacted dad to try and get back together with him. But he brushed her off and asked about her current living situation. Sean and my mom couldn't pay the rent. So they were kicked out and are currently living in a tiny one bedroom apartment together. Sean has apparently turned into a freeloader who keeps saying, I'm a brilliant freelancer. So my mom has started working more so she can support him. And they can't stop fighting. And it's overall an awful situation. But I don't care. They are no longer part of my life. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.